It's NBA action on EA Sports. I'm Ed Cohen. Great to be joined by Jay Williams for what should be a terrific matchup here tonight. We're at Moda Center in downtown Portland, Oregon. Tonight, it's the Portland Trailblazers taking on the Miami Heat. secure the opening tip and we're underway in Portland yes and the foul and a chance at three coming up and you ever bail out of something at the last second that's what I saw right there from the defender we call that no man's land they weren't really committed to getting out of the way committing a hard foul or taking the brunt of the contact free throws good for Lillard the Blazers add one more to their total Jay, sometimes it's not just the Heat that does opponents in in Miami. I've been a victim to this multiple times when we have played the Heat, and I think other franchises from cold cities have been the same. There's a reason why the Miami Heat have such an advantage down here on South Beach. You catch them on an off night, it's rare that teams, opposing teams, are ready to play. Lillard to McCollum. Nothing going here on that drive. It's Lillard for two. Shot by Lillard, no good. To Wade. Finishing inside the paint on that one. And sometimes less is more. Keeping it simple is the best way. Trailblazers take over. McCollum to Lillard. Takes stock of the floor. Short jumper misses. Nice pass to set things up. Layup's good. Those are the types of shots you always strive for. Woo, did you see that? Eyes to the rim, and the rest was all net. Right, 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 right. Lillard, tough matchup against Butler. To Ken Bazemore. Here comes the screen. Can't connect. Wade to Dragic. He throws it down. Feed the big fella. Point to the passer. So good when you get everybody involved, in particular your bigs. You get them going, they'll run the court faster, and guess what? They'll set harder screens because they're actually in the game. Knock loose, and that's going to be out of bounds off of Lillard. Time to shuffle things up. Butler. Serge Ibaka. Two for two. That's what you want. That's lunch pail business right there. Don't worry about the no call. Keep powering through. Now the Blazers will use a timeout as they'll talk things over here in the first quarter. McCollum to Whiteside. Shot from in close, no good. To Butler. Dragic. Yes, and a foul. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. And I love the smile on the face of the offensive player. Sometimes luck is on your side. I don't know how that shot went in, but... And one. Dwayne Wade trying to cash in on a three-point play. For his career, 76% from the line. The free throw, good. Cashes in on the three-point play. The lead now stands at 10. It's Portland ball. Cleans it up. And a put-back slam. Woo, that's nasty right there. To Butler. A oh, bad pass there. Blazers have it. Has a chance. Knocks it down from mid range. When the ball is in his hands, we all knew.
for what was going to happen. The opposing coach is going to counter, make some changes of his own. Number 32, Muller to bring it up. Up six. To Ibaka. Serge Ibaka. Three for three. That's a perfect start. You feel that? I see the confidence building. McCollum with the basketball. He'll run the offense. To Whiteside. Serge Ibaka. Ah, tips it. That's why. Oh! Out there looking like the Kimbe Matumbo. Took it right to him, and the defender was ready. Serge Ibaka snatching it out of the air. Got it. And if you don't contest, he's knocking that down with ease. Muller into the front court. Up by six. To Wade. Oh, had him going there for a second. Gets a look. Can't hit. Ah, oh, can't miss those. It's the Heat with the possession. To Ibaka. Off the mark. And that's next level defense. The defender took away the pocket space of the shooter. Now, as a shooter, they shoot hundreds of shots each and every day from that pocket with consistency. Now you force them to change the angle or the positioning of that pocket, you're going to lower the chances of them making that shot. Dwayne Wade. Here comes the screen. Butler. Serge Ibaka looking good. Four for five. Deep three at the buzzer. First quarter in the books with the Heat in front. First quarter complete on to the second period. A little bit of a feeling out process so far. And we're exceeding the speed limit. These guys are playing fast. And the thing I love about it the most, there's entertainment in this game. Guys are looking away after they shoot the ball. Guys are clapping. Guys are energetic. This is why you love this sport. Ed Cohen, Jay Williams with you as we get things started here in the second quarter. Not going down for him this time. Not loose. Blazers come away with it. To McCollum. Shot clock winding down. That's no good. And you hate to say this, but this is the reality of the matter. Sometimes it takes guys a little while to warm up into the game. Seems like they finally found their rhythm in the second quarter. Screen coming. Butler guarded by McCollum. Plenty of contact. The shot, no good. Seems like a lot of contact on that play. If I were that player, I would pull the ref over to the side, talk to him, express to him how much contact there was so he could look for that same foul call potentially the next time down the court. He gets it. Not a Ferrari, definitely not a Lambo, but hey, gets you from point A to point B. To Butler. Out of bounds, last touch by...
Changes coming from both sides right now. Into the game. Nice footwork to get around the defender. It looks like he's using his ball handling to feel the game out. I know it looks like he's just playing around out there trying to get the fans going. That is true, but he's also finding his rhythm. Lillard. He'll get it down to Johnson. Oh, great pass. Setting up the basket. I love the drive to the basket there. Instead of trying to go around or over, go through. Miami with the basketball to Wade. Finish finish here comes the screen. Wade matched up with Nurkic. Serge Ibaka slams it down. It's so amazing when you get a chance to see a player in his own space. It's almost as if the defense doesn't exist. He can go left, he can go right, he can attack. He's playing on that court by himself. From the painted area, won't go down to Wade. Curling inside. Dwayne Wade, three for three in this first half. And whether you're moving north or south or east or west, you got to be able to keep pace with the ball carrier and most importantly, stay in his chest. That's on the defender. It's way too early to be fatigued. Using the post to his advantage there and the finish at the rim. equals high percentage. Miami. New blood coming in for both sides. Number eight, Bismarck. Lynn matched up with Lillard. Baysmore pins it. Out of bounds the call. Last touch by Yusef Nurkic. Wade to Jeremy Lin. Five to shoot for Miami. Jeremy Lin. He's finally on the board. Makes his first shot. Ooh, cool, calm, and collective. The three C's. His handles are effortless. Lillard to Nurkic. Gets it in the right corner. Oh, he had him there for a second. Baseline drive. Bismarck Biombo sends it away. Picked up. Here we go. To Wade. Count the bucket for two. Well, they have such great flow to their offense this evening. The ball isn't sticking to one player individually. It's moving around the perimeter, and it's zipping. They're playing with a special cohesiveness. To Lillard. One minute remaining in the second quarter. Nothing going here on that drive. D has got it. Damian Lillard. He's three for seven. It seems like yesterday I was rapping with this kid during the NBA pre-draft workout. He looks scrawny. Nobody knew if he could really make it. But the arrow continues to point straight up for Dame Lillard. Another terrific season. A first-time All-NBA first-team player. Tied for fourth in the league in scoring last year. This kid is no doubt about it. Dame time. Screen coming. Damian Lillard, it's good. If you don't stand in his way, he's going to make you pay. And a lot of folks last year, including my...
myself were surprised that Dame was named first team all NBA ahead of Russell Westbrook. Look, I love Dame's game, but come on, man. Russ averaged a triple double for the second season in a row. Stop it. Bismarck Biombo swats it. Send it away. Did you see how far he got up? He kept going up and up and up. I think he's still going up. Deep three at the buzzer. First half in the books. The Heat with the lead. I'm Jalen Rose, and this is your EA Sports Halftime Report. The Heat worked hard for their halftime lead. It was their playmaking, the way they gave each other scoring opportunities. That really impresses me. I love seeing unselfish basketball like that. These are the guys getting buckets for the Miami Heat. Trailblazers are in need of some changes at the half. Of course, they still have two quarters to turn things around, but it won't happen without making some adjustments. These are the guys getting buckets for the Portland Trailblazers. Game track. Blocks. The Miami Heat came to play today. And the opposition knows it. All these blocks are more than just rejections. They're statements. Player of the half. Serge Ibaka is doing everything he can on defense to get the win. He's blocking shots, he's getting steals, and he's setting the tone for his team. Here we go with the top plays. Number two. That concludes our halftime report. Thanks for joining us, and see you again after the game. It's the Heat with the hey, possession. Let's go, let's go. Right, right, right. Dwayne Wade to Ibaka. Perfect feed to set up the basket. Like and it's so deflating for the defense when you pick up right exactly where you left off at halftime. That's the kind of energy you need. Lillard to Whiteside. Lillard over to the right side. To Lillard. Wide open look, won't go. A pass stolen by Portland. You know, Ed, sometimes you're just more ready to play than your opponent. The intensity and the effort is off the charts. To Butler. Hassan Whiteside with a piece. Sent a message on that one, Ed. To Ibaka. Three, three, three. And a chance coming up at the line. Smart play to rip through the extended arm of the defender. That will get you to the free throw line every time.
First free throw is good. No back-to-back -back free throws here. He missed the second. Lillard matched up with Jimmy Butler. Here comes the screen. And he knocks it down. Jay, as key a move as you'll find in the NBA. And it is the new age triple threat. It does two things. Number one, it creates distance in a hurry. Number two, when you're stepping east to west while maintaining your dribble, which is the difference maker, it throws a defender off because now he's at your mercy and he's off balance. And it just may be, Jay, the biggest threat late in the shot clock. If you, especially if you add a hesitation to the move or if you look at the rim, you'll most time have the defender jumping out of the shoes. We wish defenders all the best in this game defending that. To Whiteside. Shot from the lane, won't go. Another follow, stays out. And I'm telling you from personal experience, those are the ones that keep you up late at night. A point blank miss right there. You gotta make those. Jimmy Butler, quiet night, but two for three in the contest right now. Clearly not afraid of the spotlight here because that was not an easy look. Trailblazers with the basketball. To Lillard. Screen coming. Dane rises. Shot by Lillard. No good. Just seems like there's lead in the feet of the defenders. You have to bounce quicker to the ball to deter that shot. Butler to Ibaka. Stuffs it down with authority. And when you get your prescription, you take your medicine and you call it a day. Lillard. For two. Shot by Lillard. No good. To Wade. Dwayne Wade. He's now shooting five for seven. Mm. I remember my high school coach said, one man can't beat five. Well, I'm telling you right now, he lies. I'm watching it happen in person. We'll get a stoppage here. Timeout Portland. As their coach wants to get a word in with his guys here in this third quarter. things up hockey line substitutions both teams making changes the column into the front court down a bundle to Lillard and a throw down here on their home floor they're chipping away I mean does this crowd have a pulse are they even alive sometimes when you make a play like that your crowd needs to get you back in this ball game Butler sizing up a column and a nice finish at the rim Hey, one of the things I hear all the great teams say in the huddle, they say one, two, three, no mercy. Now it's time for you to go even harder on the defensive end. Keep up, keep up. Match up, match up. Oh, yeah, it's me and you, me and you. Here comes the screen. It's Lillard for two. Here's the step back. The one thing we know for certain in this league, it doesn't doesn't matter how big the margin is, you can always put together a run and get back in this one. Time to adjust. Both coaches making changes on the floor. To Butler. Scores from the post. And if you don't contest, he's knocking that down with ease. Short jumper stays out. 
That's how you do it. You keep riding him to the basket, and if the refs aren't calling it, keep being physical. Keep knocking him off balance. Able to convert inside. And he's fouled. Good play by the shooter. You know what? That's an even better play by the defender. I like the foul there. Send a message. Nothing easy. He's going to have... To earn it now. Gary Tread Jr. at the line. First one goes down. Two for two on that trip. To Carter. Count the basket inside. There you go. I like seeing his scoring coming from unlikely sources. Damian Lillard. Shot by Lillard. No good. Deep three. At the buzzer. Three quarters down as the Heat enjoy some breathing room. It's the Blazers with the basketball as we start the fourth quarter. And they've really had very little go right for them on either end of the floor. Remember that old line, your attitude determines your altitude? Well, when you see dejected faces on the sideline, that poor body language gave you an impression that they had no chance to win this game. From the painted area, won't go down. To Wade. Finishing inside the paint on that one. This may sound cheesy, but sometimes you just need to sit back, get a tough... a popcorn and just enjoy the show because that's what you're watching right now to Lillard he buries it creating space with the step back oh he buckled his knees so bad it didn't matter if he scored or not that's a win for the internet Dragic matched up with Lillard to Wade Damian Lillard able to recover with the block. McCollum with the basketball. His guys down big. C.J. McCollum. Consistent effort. He's at 50%. That's a strong finish. Regardless of contact, finishing strong is key. Wade against the Lehigh product. To Carter. Ibaka. Here comes the screen. The screen sets him up for two. You know, Ed, I'm down with guys having 35, 40, maybe 50 points in the game. But the one thing you look for in a defensive end, when there's a huddle after a guy has dropped multiple buckets on you in a row, and everybody's quiet, nobody stands up and says, yo, I got him, I'm going to stop him, you're in a worrisome place for your team. Oh, they call the foul, Jay. A simple touch foul. 
Both teams tweaking their lineups. Here come some changes. Dame rises, knocks it down from mid-range. Might have had an extra dribble or two there, but he got the shot he wanted. Dragic with the basketball. His guy's holding the big lead. A bad pass there. Blazers have it. Tonight, it may not cost you, but in a playoff game, it will. That's off the side of the rim, no good. To Dragic. You know, it reminds me out of a story a legendary coach once told me. He said, if you ever get in a fight, you're not going to hit somebody with an open hand, correct? You'll probably break a finger. But if you hit somebody with a fist, what is that? That's five fingers working collectively together as one. That's how you deliver a knockout punch, and that's what we're seeing tonight. Now preparing to shoot at the line. Just because a team's winning doesn't mean the refs are going to put away the whistle. Play right all the way through. Damian Lillard at the line for two shots. He's perfect for the line so far. First one, count it. Second one off the mark. He goes one for two. Let's it fly from long range. That's not his range. It's no good. And the finish. Slam dunk. He's been a one-man show. But, Jay, they're still down in this one. He's their lone bright star. Their only star tonight. Some other of the supporting cast members really need to step up. Looks like some substitutions are coming on in. Number 17, Lynn, sizing up the all-star Lillard. A drive to the basket, but the shot rattles around and out. To Lillard. To Ken Bazemore. Down to five on the 24. Lillard for two. Now a step back. Did you see the way that dribble freed him up? It created so much space. I did, but the defender didn't. Dragic with it. His guys hold a commanding lead. Won't go. To Lillard. Miami secures the rebound. Had a good look there, but it's no good. To Ken Bazemore. Lillard. To Whiteside. Hassan Whiteside. He's three for seven. Some players are just built to absorb the contact. He pretty much dusted that defender off like that was a bug at the park. Now he was smothered and still gets it to go down. You normally don't see that, but that's the type of thing that keeps shooters in the league for a long time. Every once in a while, they venture into the paint.
Both coaches hitting the reset button. Fresh legs coming onto the floor. Bazemore matched up with Iguodala. No good. Defense catching a break there. Yes, and the foul, and a chance at three coming up. The offense has very little to lose on those type of plays if they know they can, number one, create contact, and number two, still get the ball up. You need to assert yourself fully on the defensive end by initiating the contact and not allowing the offensive player to get that ball above his waist. Free throws good. Add one more to the total. This game feels out of reach. Portland's got it. I got him. I got him. Here we go. Here we go. To Lillard. Here comes the screen. Lillard. The Heat with the victory as they win this one handily. That'll wrap things up for Jay Williams and our entire crew. I'm Ed Cohen. This has been a presentation of the NBA on EA Sports. for the EA Sports post-game wrap-up. The Heat put together a nice win here today. And some people may disagree, but I think their ball movement was the biggest key to their victory. Still, I think we'd all agree that they made the defense look slow and confused throughout this matchup. Here are the guys who put up the most points for the Miami Heat. Trailblazers couldn't put it together to get the victory here today. And even though some of them smiled and shook hands with the other guys after the game, you could tell by the way they headed to the tunnels how disappointed they were about this loss. Check out the leading scores for the Portland Trailblazers. Game track. Assists. The Miami Heat. We're very impressive in the way they shared the ball, giving each other the opportunity to not just take good shots, but great shots. That's what I believe made the difference for them in this game, that being the great assist. Player of the game. Serge Iblaka gets the award for the most obvious reason, and that's his scoring output. He couldn't be stopped, and it was incredible to watch. Here are the top plays from the game. Number two. Number one. was coming up for the Portland Trail Blazers. On behalf of ESPN on EA Sports, I'm Jalen Rose. We look forward to seeing you again next time.